What's up? My name is Take Number here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to move Battlefield 1 from Steam to Origin. Why exactly would you want to do this? Well, of course, you can keep all of your progress, but if you'd like to move it from one platform to another, it's really easy to do, in fact, though a couple of the steps that you need to take may not be the most clear at first. I, of course, have the game installed in Steam over here, and I own it on Origin as well through EA Play. You'll need to own this on both platforms in order to move it from one to the other. It's the same for moving it back. So I have the game fully downloaded and up to date on Steam. How do we move this across to my Origin install? To move it from one platform to another without actually having to download anything, you need to follow a couple of basic steps. So first of all, inside of Origin, we'll need to start the game's download and then close it while it's downloading. So I'll open up Battlefield 1, not the Steam version, but the original one that came with Origin itself so that it doesn't go through Steam, then click Download. After doing so, select the language and then click Accept. Then choose a place to install it. I'd recommend choosing the same disk that you currently have it installed on Steam in. That way you can move it from one directory to another and not have to copy it, meaning that you can do it basically instantly. For me, my game is installed on A Drive Steam Apps, so I'll place it inside of A Drive Origin as such. A Games Origin Battlefield 1. Doesn't really matter where you install it, you just need to start the install on your computer. Accept, next, and now we wait for the download to start. While it's starting, navigate across to that same folder we just created. So for me, A Games Origin, and here we have the Battlefield 1 files that are currently downloading. Inside of Origin, what we need to do is click Origin in the top left, followed by Exit without stopping the download. Then wait for it to close completely. You can check your task manager for this to make sure that Origin has closed entirely. After it's done, we need to go ahead and delete the files that are currently inside of our Battlefield 1 install for Origin, as such, and now we have an empty Battlefield 1 folder. What we'll do is open up our current install in Steam, right click, manage, browse local files, and we'll be moving our files across from the Steam install into this origin folder. So I'll select everything, cut, and paste it into here. And as you can see, they moved across instantly from Steam to origin, as simple as that. Now, before we go ahead and start up Origin itself, you need to delete a couple of folders to tell Origin what version we currently have here. Those folders definitely aren't clear and you're gonna have to do some manual checking. But lucky for you, I've already done that. I've downloaded on Origin and Steam, compared them, and these are the files that are different between the two installations. The right-hand side is the Steam install and the left-hand side is the Origin install. Anything that says write only is only on the Steam install of the game and the folders that are different we need to go ahead and delete as well. So inside of the origin copy, we need to make sure we don't have an installer, don't have an overlay folder and don't have a support folder. So I'll select installer, hold control, select overlay and support, then click delete. Then the other files we need to delete are easttore.ini and installscript.vdf if you have them. So EA Storm, add install script, select and delete. There we go. Now our files should be basically identical to the origin install and not the Steam install. Though of course, some of the files inside of the installer folder and the support folder will need to be re-downloaded. No issue, they're nice and small, only a couple of megabytes. So next up, open up origin once again. When it opens up, don't do anything, just wait for the download to automatically start itself once again, and this time you'll notice that it goes a lot faster. So I'll head across to my game library. You can see Battlefield 1 here, and now the download started. You may need to click on Battlefield 1 and then close the sidebar of info if nothing happens, though just be patient. Then opening up the download over here, you can see resuming, and this time it's going incredibly fast. It should be going at the read speed of your hard drive instead of limited by your internet. Checking the performance tab of my task manager, you can see disk 2 is 100% maxed out and my internet is barely being used at all for anything other than Spotify. Awesome. To keep track of how much Origin is downloading, I'll be using my antivirus's firewall right over here. We'll see exactly how much it has downloaded by the end of the process. And there we have it. Once the game's gone ahead and installed, all you need to do is click on it. And of course you can play it basically immediately. It's just that simple. If you were to copy it without deleting those folders, however, you'd encounter a serious issue of having the wrong version installed. As soon as you try to fire it up, it'll launch up the Steam version instead, 
and you'll be back to where you started, though this time your game is just in a different place and it's not registered on Steam. You'll still own it then, it's just that it'll be this version, not the origin version. So keep that in mind. And just for extra proof, as you can see over here, Origin has downloaded a total of 17 megabytes, moving the game from Steam to Origin. These were all of the missing files that were downloaded and replaced. Nice and small, nice and simple. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. My name's been Technobi here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.